Okay, watchOS 10.0.1 is out for your Apple Watch. Series 4 through Series 9 Ultra SE 1 and 2. But I'm going to show you how to install it today, how easy it is. only takes just a few minutes. Y'all stay with me. Hey everybody, Scott Burnett here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video. Hope you're doing well today. Hope you're having a good day. All right, going to go ahead and get started on this today. We're going to try to make this a quick video if we can. If y'all have seen my other two videos of installing iOS and iPadOS 17, uh, those went well. Everything's going good. Now that we have iOS 17 on the phone, we can put the newest watch OS on my Apple Watch. Now this is my Series 4. So let's drop down here on the desk and we'll show you what we can do. Alright, now y'all can see my my phone and my watch. We're going to go to the Watch app. Right there. We're going to go down to General. And we have a software update. Now this is watch OS 10.0.1, 1.2 gigabytes. So we will go ahead. Okay, we gotta make sure our Apple Watch is on the charger. Forgot about that. So let's do that. And the iPhone is connected to Wi-Fi. There we go. All right, so we're going to go ahead and install, and it says that your Apple Watch needs to be 50% or more. Now, you're, it's going to ask for your passcode, and then you're going to have to agree. And then it will verify. Now, we'll let it go through this, and I'll zip you through it when it's done. All right, we'll time and see how long it takes to install this. Okay, it looks like it is up to date. It took... 10 minutes to do this now it's still booting up you know this has got to go all the way around so I'll wait and uh, see how long it takes for it to actually boot up this is a series 4 so it's not going to be as fast as you know one of the newer models so we'll come right back all right there we have it it took uh, what was it 12 minutes so it's it's showing hello We'll start it up. Okay, press the digital crown to see your apps. It's got them in the list view. Okay, there's the control center. And here are the stacks. These are the stack apps. So it's, it runs you through a little uh, how-to. So I will link a web page up that explains all of the uh, new additions to the Apple Watch. Didn't get the face that I wanted. Try that one more time. Can't wait to see. Um, there it is. Okay. That's the lunar watch face. So there you have it. WatchOS 10.0.1 installed on here. Um, I actually got a thing on my Mac just now that said device added your account and Apple Watch now has access to FaceTime. So that's something I want to... I don't see FaceTime on here, but... We'll have to check that out. But anyway, we're going to do a video on the things I like, things I don't like. 
you know, I've had this for several years now and it's been a great watch. I enjoy it. I, I take I measure all my health and fitness and uh, activity levels, get all my messages and everything on it. It's pretty, and I, it actually tells time too. So imagine that. So anyway, let me know in the comments how Watch OS 10 is working for you. I'd like to know, good or bad, doesn't matter. And uh, yeah, I'm, all the updates so far have been really good. Um, hopefully battery life will be good too and uh, this is the last update this watch will get more than likely so but anyway hope y'all enjoy this video hope you get something out of it if you like this video give me a thumbs up hit that subscribe button hit that bell be notified and if you're over on rumble do the same thing remember i will link to all the new changes in watch os 10 in this in the description uh, along with everything else that I put in this video that I, I put everything in the description and I reply to all the comments. So anyway, that's it for today. Hope you guys are having a great day and a great week so far. And like I always say, until the next video, thanks for watching.